It's Thursday, April 17th, and we hope that you're having a great spring break, ninth grade academy. Ms. Palmer, what do you have planned for spring break? I have to work. With the work? Yeah. No break whatsoever. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I am, actually today is my birthday, so I'm going out with my mom and Ms. Johnson to lunch, and then I'm going to celebrate with my friends. And I'm going to help you with your essay. Ready? <laughs> All right, let's get some shout outs first before we actually get started. Ms. Palmer, who do you want to give a shout out to? Well, Castellano and Andrew, they actually came in and did a great job. They completed at least half of their work. Absolutely. So, kudos to you. All right, great. They should have a fun spring break. Anybody else? Um, Raymond and Diana, mm. uh, they exhibited great leadership skills throughout this week. And you know, so far in the project, they've been really good. All right, great. All right, I have a few shout outs to give too. My first shout out is going to go to Xavier. During the transition exercise, he really understood what to do and put it into his writing. I expect that his paragraphs would be very well developed. And I'll also give a shout out to Brian Santos. He ran back into the building before it was time for him to come home to get his spring break assignment. So, Brian, hopefully, you're working on that. All right? So, who are we looking for? Some people did not take their spring break assignments home. So if you see them, let them know to come to Coolidge to pick up their spring break assignment. All right, who do we have from fourth period? So we have Michelle, Eric, L.U., Larnell, and Joshua. Oh, and Anthony. Oh. <laughs> All right, fifth period. Shout out to you because your class took the most spring break project home and really is one of my largest classes. The only people who need their things are Kalia, Reggie, of course, and Latina. Sorry you were looking for me. Come and get your folder. Finally, sixth period, we have the most folders. Who we have? Amber, Castellano, come finish. Rashad, Darian, Dion, Muhammad. Anissa, Kobe, have fun at Disney World, Kobe, Alicia, and Fagan. All right, most of you, we talked to you or your parents today. This box with your assignment will be in the front office, so hopefully you have it by now. If not, come and get it, and if you heard someone's name and you have their number, send them to come get it too. All right, Ms. Palmer, so now let's jump right in. What do they need? in their spring break packet or what's on here? Okay, so this spring break packet is actually due on April 23rd. And I believe that's a Wednesday? Yep. A Wednesday, right. So Wednesday after spring break for everyone, every class period. And the final type will be due April 30th. The museum and art exhibition will be May 16th. And we'll be going to Six Flags for those winners on the 23rd. All right. All right. What's in our spring break packet? So we have our textual evidence, which most of you should have already completed. Transition list, front and back. So choose some good transition words. Strong words list, no more, he shows, he said. Like, find some good ones. There are lots of good ones here. And then finally, your spring break assignment. Yay. <laughs> All right, during the spring break assignment, you are going to write three body paragraphs for your final essay. Those three body paragraphs must be complete when you return Wednesday, April 23rd. Ms. Palmer, let's keep this going. What else do they need to know? So, first of all, you have to turn to page five in your packet. Where we made our thesis statement. I'm sure most of you already completed the thesis statement. But just in case, let's just go back over it. And for the sake of this video, we're going to do May. So we're going to write a paragraph about May. But we're taking you through the entire process. All right. All right. So during the blank dynasty's reign over China, leaders blank and blank, if you have one that's just fine, just blank, effectively utilized governing in two others systems.
to aid in the development of the civilization or her the Chinese people. Right. So we're going to focus on this one, but you, if you've already done another one, that's fine. So I believe uh, Asia, Asia, Heritage, right. LEU, you can work on thesis statement number two. All right, go ahead and fill this in for me. So during the Ming Dynasty's reign or power over China, leaders Zhang He and Hong Wu, you should know that, <laughs> effectively utilize governing, we're going to use religion, and producing, consuming, exchanging systems to aid in the development. All right. So civilization. We chose religion and producing, consuming, exchanging. But please feel free to use education, aesthetics, protecting, communication. For example, the song group with Prosperity and Talia, they chose education, religion, and government to describe the Song Dynasty's government and system. All right? Next, Ms. Palmer, would you go over the question that we're going to answer today with our PC? So the question is still on page five states, what are the major contributions of your dynasty? So you fill in the blank again here, will be me. All right, so when you're writing, you're telling us, how did your dynasty contribute to the aspects of civilization like government, like religion, like producing, consuming, exchanging. Most of this we already know. Now for the good part. With your assignment in hand, we've already given you a topic sentence. We'd like for you to look at the topic sentence that we finessed and changed a bit. If you're a good writer, you can change our topic sentence too to reflect what you know. Ms. Palmer, would you fill it in? Alright, so Hong Wu and Zhang Yi, both emperor and eunuch, work and for our adjective to describe our emperors we chose suspicious were suspicious rulers that assisted in the development of the government in ancient China our first paragraph is about government, so we're going to fill it into our boxes. Alright, your topic sentence should tell me the leader's name, an adjective to, to, to describe their power, and which aspect of civilization we're focusing on. Alright, when you're finished. Would you go over your topic sentence okay. and how you develop this main paragraph? Okay, so although we had a prompted uh, topic sentence, we changed it a bit to fit how we wanted our paragraph to look. Okay, so what we came up with was Hong Wu. Again, we still have a leader's name. We still have an adjective. So Hong Wu was a suspicious, driven leader who utilized a governance system to unite the Chinese people after foreign rule. All right, we used some of the context of what we knew about the Yuan Dynasty to further develop our topic sentence. You can try to do the same now. All right, next comes the good part. We're talking about the transition assignment we did recently. There's three parts of our transitions and evidence. I should 
see a transition word, a phrase in your own words, and a quote or piece of evidence from the text with a page number. So first, for my transition, we gave you, for instance, feel free to use any transition in the to give examples category. Loyal to him 
Syria, whose findings led to the execution of thousands of people. This piece of evidence really connects well with the last piece of evidence we gave, especially because we've already defined what a eunuch was. This is why we put it in this order. All right, what's next? Okay, so now it comes the explanation. Through the suspicion that he possessed, he felt as if his eunuchs could watch for any unruly behavior. Again, with another evidence, Hongwu abolished the imperial secretariat, which had traditionally functioned like the American cabinet and assumed their duties. As an emperor, Hongwu probably felt threatened by someone else helping in his decision-making process. All right, so here we've given you a very abbreviated version of the rest of this paragraph, but focus on using transitions, phrases, quotes, and really strengthening your explanations. Finally, after you finish writing your government paragraph, you are going to transition into your next body paragraph. Based on the thesis statement me and Ms. Palmer put together, we're going to the religion paragraph. So we made sure the last sentence of our government paragraph and the first sentence of our religion paragraph connect. Even though Hong Wu was a suspicious leader, he supported different religious views and allowed freedom of religion. This is the last sentence of our government paragraph, and then our first sentence of our religion paragraph states, Hong Wu was a leader that enforced traditional religion after foreign rule. Again, we make sure that we connected these two ideas and we're ready to move on and to complete evidence for the religion and protecting, well, producing, consuming, exchanging paragraphs. All right, hopefully, the information that we presented gives you more background about completing your paper. Ms. Palmer, what else do we need to share? Okay. So hopefully when you guys come back, you will have this entire project completed. Um, then, yeah. Well, groups who are completed with this and have the best entries are most likely the ones to go to six flags. So, aim high. Absolutely. Only 15 spots for Six Flags. What you get, you'll be admitted to Six Flags, a buffet for food for lunch and dinner, a free photo, DJ, party that goes all the way into the evening. So, best team wins. Oh, wow. Okay. So, you guys have to start thinking about what you want to do for your art exhibition. I mean, these dates are rapidly approaching, so we need to know... So get an idea so we could, you know, start building and getting materials together for you guys. Absolutely. So come back with an idea. And also when you get back, we're going to have an intro and conclusion lesson so that we can help put your entire paper together. Absolutely. Make sure you read the introduction and conclusion on the sample essays that we gave you and see if you can try to create more connectivity using transitions in the sample examples you have. Finally, just so that we can, for the record, the scoreboard says, so far in fourth period, the Su and Tang or Tong dynasty are tied with three points each. In fifth period, the Yuan dynasty is winning by seven. Ooh, with seven points, Song right behind them with five, and then Su with four, Tong with two. Set the game up, Tong, fifth period. Finally, sixth period, in the lead, the Song Dynasty. So congratulations to Deanna, Karan, Amber, Rashard. Make sure that your group comes to get your folder. It's still anybody's game. Our trip is in.